Customers show up all the time with their hair on fire. Their investors are pressing them to get products to market as fast as they can. And they come to us and they ask, how long will it take? Even before a product has been designed, we have to find a way to answer that question. And one of the most important aspects of product development is getting parts prototyped as quickly as possible. So we use computerized design tools for mechanical, optical, and electronic components. We then have a whole variety of rapid prototyping service providers that we can go to who can turn around prototype parts in a matter of days. Here at 2014 MD&M East, I've been out talking to some of these service providers and manufacturers of rapid proto prototyping equipment to understand what the latest advances are. Okay, another supplier that we found uh, is called Protocam, and they specialize in rapid prototyping uh, using a variety of processes, including urethane casting. Uh, and that's a very interesting process for us. So we've been doing this for about 20 years, and we've developed techniques throughout that time to make some very, very clear parts, both raw as well as urethane castings. So typically, if engineers will send us files, we'll print them out in 3D, generally in stereolithography, polish the daylights out of them, and then make uh, urethane castings with temporary RTV molds. The end result, we can cast them in any color we want, but uh, the clear, as I understand you're interested in, we've uh, specialized in. We make them for medical companies, just displaying uh, implant devices for doctors, and uh, we've had great success with it. A lot of our customers are, are very pleased with the results. We can do light tubes and other type applications of lenses or light conveyance mechanisms, bringing like say from the back of a VCR out to the front panel where you've got your light in one place, but you need to bring it to a different part of the mechanism. So we can use Protocam's urethane casting technology to make a variety of optical components, particularly in the illumination uh, category. Uh, we can cast windows, and light pipes that can be used to carry light from a light source to where the light is needed. It's also possible that we may be able to work with a company like this to refine the process to be able to make optical components that are even accurate enough for imaging application. Uh, and that would be the first time that any kind of casting technique could be used for that purpose. That would potentially cut many, many weeks out of the optical prototyping uh, process and would provide a much lower cost alternative to uh, diamond turning plastic optics. Our clients come to us and ask us, can we get it to market faster? Our answer will be, yes we can.